Morning all and welcome back once again to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you a new San Martin and I'm quite late to the party on this one. This is one of three new SN0116s that they have released very, very recently for the summer. Very bright and colourful divers, NH35 powered Dive watches, um, yeah, I have bought this watch. No includes paid promotion icon today, guys, because, well, I never charge a fee for my reviews, a cash fee. And, um, yeah, occasionally I get sent watches. I get sent free San Martin watches quite often. But on this occasion, I bought this one. I paid for it with my own money. So, yeah, no includes paid promotion icon. Of course, I will put a link in my video description that takes you to the official store. It will be an affiliate link, but um, yeah, on this occasion, I bought this San Martin because I thought it looked really, really good and I wanted to see it in person and it's been reviewed quite a few times by other people on other channels and everybody seems to be raving about it. And with the next big AliExpress out right around the corner, it starts on the 19th of August, I believe. Yeah, I thought it'd be good to get it in and um, share with you my opinion on this rather bright and sort of purpley, blueberry, blackberry looking watch. Now, I recently received a Watch Dives watch, actually. This is one of their more expensive watches. And um, yeah, I sort of made a comparison in a video between Watch Dives watches and San Martin watches, and rightfully so, um, someone pointed out to me in the comments section that, well, they're not really competing in terms of price, are they, and quality. Um, San Martin watches are often more expensive than Watch Dives watches. Um, this one is £132. At the moment, the San Martin is 217 I think. Um, £217. So... Um, yeah, a little bit more money for sure. And I can confirm, you can definitely tell where that money's gone. Um, the finishing on this Watch Dives watch is definitely better. It's a step up to the first Watch Dives watch I've ever seen. Um, but when you look at both of these watches closely, you really can see where the money has gone on the San Martin. The transitions between the different types of finishing, far more crisp on the San Martin than they are on the watch dives watch you've got a sapphire crystal insert on this san martin and only a k1 mineral crystal bezel insert on the watch dives watch split pins um screw pins what else oh yeah the clasp on the watch dives watch is um a little bit ropey in places whereas on the san martin it's impeccably well finished i think just overall you're getting those rough edges ironed out with the San Martin over the Watch Dives watch. Um, yeah, the bezel action is better on the San Martin as well. So that extra money that the San Martin is going to cost you is definitely going somewhere. Um, but that's not to say the Watch Dives watch um, doesn't represent good value for money. Anyway, let's get back to this San Martin because that is really what you're here to see. Um, yeah, as always, they have provided excellent materials excellent specifications and build quality um, a beautiful design isn't it fairly original in terms of its design I like the colors that they're offering um, three colors this one a green one and an orange one I'll show you the loom degrading at the end of the video it's come on a sort of beads of rice bracelet um, the links in the middle those ricey beady links are polished the outer links are brushed all of the brushing and the polishing looks really really nice um no ghost position on this one because you've got the date complication look at the six o'clock and it's color coded which is nice um they do on occasions um use the wrong movements don't they and so you do sometimes have ghost positions on their crowns but not on this occasion the bezel action is very very nice not a huge amount of grip mind but it's lovely have a listen Super clean and super crisp pops and clicks on this bezel action, even resistance all the way around. I think the alignment is bang on. Let's have another look. Ooh, I think it's near as damn it, isn't it? Um, yeah, I think that's good enough. Yeah, 
sapphire crystal bezel inserts aren't my favorite um, because they tend to be a little bit domed they have a lot of light play that's sort of distorted and i'm just a massive fan of ceramic polished ceramic bezel inserts but um yeah it does look nice doesn't it beautiful case shape we've seen this case before this isn't a new watch um yeah large brushed flanks look and then a polished chamfered edge running the length of the case, female end links, um, nice articulation, drilled lugs, look, um, screw down case back, screw down crown, I think it's 200 meters, yep, 200 meters of water resistance, it's another clean and tidy offering by San Martin, isn't it, so, um, yeah, I suspect in the upcoming sale, it will be cheaper, and I think it's going to be a popular one, because they've sold quite a few of these watches already, and it hasn't been available for that long, um, so yeah, I think it is going to be a very, very popular one. Guys, let me know what you think in the comments section. I always look forward to reading most of your comments.